Alright, welcome back to War Plan. It's going to immediately end my turn. So, I just missed taking out a very valuable German unit here by one hex, which is very annoying. But I have got, that has caused them to divert a couple of units here. If one could have killed kill them, that would have been perfect. With the way the stats are built, Poland's got no real chance of stopping the Germans. But I'm basically just fighting for time. I can delay them an extra turn or two. This is turn three, so this is six weeks into the war. If they can hold out for another couple of turns, then it will be all good. Hey, stop moving that. That's that was silly. Should have said this in the last video, but yeah. If you enjoyed this, you know, you're back for video two. Please hit like and subscribe on well, like on video one, please and subscribe. I don't really ask that enough, but yeah, I assume people just think like what they or subscribe, but yeah. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a prompt. Right, so it's September there. Here we can retake lots. We can invade Germany. Alright, my forces are dwindling, but I'm going to keep them out of Warsaw for at least a little bit longer. Hey, we caused some losses to them. Not too bad. Yep, that's all good. Then the deploy. Try to get another call. Pong gets an air division. Yeah. That ain't gonna help him. Alright, Bishna has got a stockpile. Get a large infantry corps building built. I'm still waiting on more for the French. Soviet Union, however, can build a large armor corps. Now that's going to be very helpful. Take into upgrades. So research is just going to be kicking on. It's going to be a while until we see anything. But yeah, you know, it's weird how that counts in days. Never quite understood that one. Don't have any influence points as the allies. That's interesting. I get ten victory points, so yeah, could be worse. Nope, yep, managed to hold them to the rain. resources. Yeah, we haven't really done much to stop this guy. This is one of my things, isn't it? Like sneaking a unit around the enemy backline to join their industry. Teach them for not clearing up the um, pockets quickly enough. 
Right, so now I've got a couple of fleets with no supplies. Just have to come back to base. But we just took Vesla. Even little losses like that can cause a difference. That's not bad, actually. Save up for the armor for the British, I think. Bench top pile will get me an infantry, large infantry core. But again, I think holding up for that armor might be useful. Just, just ticking up. Right, I think the early game's pretty fast for this. In most of these places, there's not really much I can do. We'll rail down some more troops to the um, Italian border, I think. Probably this garrison division. Don't even want to send a bit large infantry corps. I'll see what else I pick up. Move the rest of these guys in closer. My main issue is I've got a large number of guys down here on the bug. Soviets a bit more. Let's fall for another turn. Taking out Brazil for a turn has done some damage to their industry.
Hmm? Poland seems to hold for another turn. Right, port interdiction. The Royal Navy is going to become very important. Right, you need to get shipped across. And you can't do an airstrike on. Supply. Yeah, but you're holding breath out, so that's fine. Bring you back. This was trying to teach him some things. Area core is ready. Best is still short on their um, tank. Yeah, heavy armor hmm, might be useful. You have to fall that next turn anyway. France short of oil. Right, we'll transfer some oil to France then. And then turn that could give me a nice little defensive thing. Just keep everyone on those trade routes. Type one more turn. The fact that we've been sitting Braslow now for like two turns is amazing. So now this will really help their, hurt their ability to attack. Long term this doesn't do anything, this just slows them down a bit. Brussels the biggest thing because that's just produced their industry by a little bit. Yeah, didn't expect them to last long. They actually longer than I expected. Right, Warsaw's Thorn. Biff Poland survives that. This is a nice damage to their troops though. Poland surrendered, not surprising.
Once it's low, it'll stop piles. We're already working on that. Royal Navy out. Try to get a new division, which should probably go down to defending this side. Soviet Union have got quite a lot of troops already planned up, so that's not too bad. They'll be event driven, but what the hell. Next turn, Britain should be able to get its armour. France can order their heavy armour now. I could just stop piling. I'll save for a second heavy armor unit for the jet Russians. But you feel like that is a silly place not to try and defend the bug. Sorry for the poor guys and sending into the marshes, but what the hell? I feel like I might be garrisoning the wrong bits here, but what, what can you do? are still going. Bit 40 in strategic bombing, which is not bad. A little ahead of time there. 14 heavy armor. Yeah. 14 interceptors, that might just be a British advantage there. Mail move you down to about here. Bad. We're doing more damage to the Germans there than we're taking. Okay, any damage I can do is basically just stripping out um, defense. I know what I actually need to do. Sod the armor. I need some ground attack. a big hole in my defense wasn't it right as before you've only just come home with no supplies it's just a matter now of waiting so i'll see you in the next video as i said before please like subscribe and stick me your middle finger up at me remember to insult how bad i am at the game that's very important and i'll see you next time